How do we ease back into that back to school mindset? Okay, so we've had our holidays, whether we have kids in school or not, there's something about this time of year, after August, the summer months, the heat is cooling down a little bit at September, new shoes, new stationery, a new year is beginning. So how can we take the incredible relaxation that hopefully we've had, those wonderful ideas that we've had, the new healthy habits perhaps as well, how do we bring all the good, the lessons learned and so on from that holiday period into setting ourselves up for success for this new year? It can be tempting to to, well, or almost involuntary to get caught up in the busyness of maybe getting your kids back to school and so on. And then before we know it, we're back into the grind. We've forgotten all the insights we got from our big brainstorming and reflecting and, and imagining and so on over the holidays. And we're just back into that routine. Suddenly it's December, January, and then we're trying to set New Year's resolutions. We're trying to come up with goals, look at our business, look at the next stage of our career, whatever that looks like, right? It's a shame to wait until December, January. If you're in business, that's too late to start planning for the new year. If you're thinking a calendar year, January to December, we need to start. I always tell my clients it's three months of cycles, right? So if we start now, we're going to see the results in January. So if you want a strong year in, you know, starting from uh, day dot, I guess, from the 1st of January, at least from the very first few days of January, now is when we need to put that hard work in. So that question again is how can we take the positives, take the new habits, take that maybe big picture insight we've had from the holiday. Hopefully you've had some time to read, to reflect, to listen, to talk, to think about what you might want to do differently now that you're back. And let's try not to forget about those things now, right? Let's try to anchor those habits in our day-to-day -day routine. Let's carve out space for those new projects and new ideas that we've had. And let's not allow ourselves to forget these incredible insights that we have had and get back into that hamster wheel and conveyor belt again. So that's the question we're asking ourselves on the podcast this week, reimaginingsuccesspodcast.com. You can search Reimagining Success on your favourite app and I'd love for you to tune in to listen to some suggestions for how you can again anchor those habits, bring the insights from the holiday period, get into, ease into that back to school mindset and you set yourself up for success for the new year and beyond. I'll see you there.